Hey family, how's everybody doing? Um, I'm going to try to make a video here. I'll try to make it as comprehensive as I can. And uh, I had to uh, change one of my sensors for my Xfinity um, home system last night. And the information I was getting on YouTube was kind of weak. So I promised my daughter I would do a video and try to tighten it up. All right. So um, uh, I'll try to be as thorough as I can. I might miss some points, but hopefully I'll be able to get you up and going. Okay. So the first thing you do is you'll come to your keypad. You have it here at Disarm. You'll go up here to the setting wheel, hit setting, hit settings again. Then you'll hit four, three, two, one. All right. And once you do that, it'll ask, enter the premise passphrase. And it says this passphrase is available on the management portal when viewing this account. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install this, which is a new sensor. And where you would go is you would go here to your app and you would click on chat with agent. And then you would ask them for the passphrase for your home after they verify you. They will give it to you. The passcode is generally good, I believe, for 24 hours. So I'm going to place this on the brief pause, put in my passcode, and come right back. All right? Okay. I went and um, put in our uh, six-digit code, and you just go through the process of you go on the chat, and you tell them you need to add a device to your home, uh, you know, your home security. Then they give you a live agent, and they're verified usually with your name and maybe ask some other verification questions. And then once you do that, you'll put in the six digit code. And I think they said usually it's good for 24 hours. And once you put it in, you'll um, and I have it at an angle, y'all, just because of the glare. But I will have everything set up so you can see. So here goes the new sensor. I'm going to get that into it. But you would go into your zones. And this is what I did last night. And the only reason I'm making this video is because it was very confusing because I didn't get all the steps right. So I figured if I had trouble... I'm going to try, I promised my daughter I would help and make it a little bit, make more sense to people. So what I did is I went in to delete a zone, sensor a zone, and I went to the old zone. I deleted it, right? And then I came out of there. And then I went to add a sensor or zone. And then I'm going to have this, you hit begin, and it's basically going to look for any new sensors Registering. And just give it a few moments. Oh, wait a minute, guys. Hang on a minute. Put it on a quick pause. I got to do something real quick, and I'll tell you what I did. All right, guys, this is what happened. When you first get these on the back, there's a little slip that blocks the battery from touching. And I forgot I did it. So I took it out, right? And once I took it out, look, it has that zone. So once I took it out, it read this right here. So what you would do is um, for whichever, and this is the little thing that you have to pull out. And most of them, when they come, you pull it out the back. And once you do that, it makes your sensor live, right? So once my sensor became live, I had it out and it's showing it. See how I look? This is a new zone. It's closed. Now watch this. When I pull it away, listen to the tone. It's open, right? So what you do is after you finish that, you hit OK. Then you go back to where all your zones are. And that new zone, 27, is right there. So you just name it for the door or the window that you have it on. And once you do that, it's updated in the system. And then when you check on your app, it'll be you'll be good to go. All right. So thank you guys. I hope I explained this a lot better and showed you <laughs> practically because the biggest thing is to remember is to take that little slip out this so it has the battery and once the battery is on, it automatically picks it up. Okay, so I'm just trying to make a better video and I thank God for the people who made their videos because you gave me a clue, but there's a lot of stuff you left out. So I hope this one is better. I wish you guys the best. Please share and like. All right. Thank you. And subscribe. Have a great day.